G'day folks, LJ Esquire and Tita here. We're at... Ya Nui Beach. Yeah, it's in Rawai, in Phuket. Yeah. Lovely little beach. We heard that there might be some kayaks and sup boards for rent here. Tita's a bit of a kayaking enthusiast, as you may have seen in other videos. So, um, thought we'd uh, venture out there, a bit of adventure, take you guys along. Let's have some fun in this morning. Yeah. It's a lovely morning. And let's get yourself a bit tanned skin. Yeah, Esquire needs a tan. <laughs> You're gonna jump off the kayak into the water? Maybe. Right, that's Tita's challenge for today. See if she can do it. All right, enjoy the ride, folks. See how we go. You know how to do kayaking? Yeah, you taught me, on the Ping River, in ah. Chiang Mai. Never done it in the ocean, though. Let's see. You want to do it now? Yeah. 100 per each per hour. So okay. it's gonna be 200 for both of us for one hour. What do you say, babe? Tell the yeah. Don't go out outside because it's wavy today. Okay. Cheers, guys. Let's go. All right, let's go. Tita, paddle us out, baby. You go, girl. Only 200 baht, guys. There's a lot of activities you can do in Phuket on the cheap. Really fun. Uh, cut across there, babe. Huh? Go, this way. Left. Go left. Once we get out of here, I'm going to jump off and have a bit of a swim. I didn't feel like we're moving. Are you paddle? Paddling. Yeah, we're moving. <laughs> I reckon there could be sharks down there, babe. Really? Yeah, big sharks. Maybe even crocs. What is croc? Crocodiles. Big crocodiles. Big saltwater crocs. Oh, 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 oh. Tita keeps telling me she's scared. I admire this woman's adventurous spirit. She gets a little scared sometimes, but she still gives things a red hot go. You're, you're not afraid of a little bit of danger. Even if there could be man eating sharks down there, you're still going to give it a go. Tita's telling me not to rock the boat when I jump off. Jellyfish? Jellyfish there. Where? There, there. Big one? I don't know. Now you see. Well, paddle away from it. No, I will take you close to that. Ah, uh, fuck. You see jellyfish? <laughs> I don't see. Oh, there is one. There's a jellyfish there. All right. We're going jellyfish hunting. Alright, I'm trying to convince Tita to jump in. Come on, babe. Let's do it. We are back on board and we're stranded out at sea. After I jumped off, jumped back on, I realized, geez, we've moved about, felt like we've moved about 300 meters. Come on, Tita, put in the work, baby. Okay, we're getting closer. Can you see Sparky, babe? Yeah, okay, Sparky's there, we can just see him. There's uh, food in the van, babe. There's food. Paddle, paddle, paddle. Uh -huh. Just think of the food you're going to get when you get back. We paddle. 
That's all. Hi right, guys, we're uh, gonna go for a little trip over to Naihan, yeah, back. Yeah, yeah, Naihan Beach, which is not far from here. Yeah. Very close to each other. Yeah. And that beach is like wider and also nice as well. Back of the minivan is filling up quickly. We do want to get a roof rack, and we're looking into getting a roof rack so we can strap all this to the top. So, you found someone in Phuket that makes roof racks, babe? Yeah, but it's not for our car. It needs to be yeah. adapted. There's a, there's a specialist in Bangkok that, that does roof racks for these cars, so we might have to wait a few weeks before we get that done. All in good time. We're accumulating some more camping gear. We've got some deck chairs and um, we've got a tent and an annex so yeah you'll see all that come to life sparky continues to deliver the goods on the road on road and off road sparky can go anywhere it's nothing sparky can't do is it me that's true can you follow the map there babe we hooked up Asia Insure, Asia Insurance. We could not get, fun fact, cars over the age of 10 years cannot get first class insurance here in Thailand. So we could only get like third party, cover us for 1 million baht damage to another vehicle. So that cost us for one year about how much baht? 3,000 3, baht. 3,000 baht? Yeah. Jesus Christ. With all the accidents that happen in, in Thailand, you'd expect insurance to cost a lot more. Only 3,000 for an entire 3, year. 3,000 and it's cover just the person? 50 baht? We just stopped off to get some fruits, guys. Peter's on the hunt for some quality mangoes. Oh. How do they look, babe? We've made our way here to Nihan Beach. What do we got here, babe? We got some nice fruits, dragon fruits. Dragon fruits, papaya. ripe papaya. This is kale coming, mangoes, and two coconuts for ourselves. Good job. And we're gonna have it fresh like this by the beach, which is really beautiful today. white color and let's see what is the taste like mm. why not sweet Tita's is going full mango <laughs> <laughs> don't see my puss fresh mango from jungle woman We are at a nice little cafe here in Rawai. It's called Wilson's Cafe. Menu looks very good. Esquire's got a latte, double shots. Tita's picked out a little... It's called veggie style. A little veggie breakfast. Yeah, veggie. Loads of veggie options. And I love the, uh, the decor here. I love the, the feeling out the front here. It's very nice. Service is very good. <laughs> Double shot, almond milk, very nice. This is like scrambled tofu on toast. And we have some grilled tomato and fresh avocado here. And this is like roasted tomato with um, chickpea and other beans. Wow. It looks good. Looks delicious. Let's try. Wilson's Calf, highly recommend that. Great service and 
great food and drink. It's really hot. Scorching hot, isn't it, babe? Yeah, the car is really hot. The car is hot. We're trying to cool it down here with the AC. Excuse the sound. So, guys, over the last 12 months, I have lived in both Chiang Mai, Hue Hin, and Phuket. Almost even amounts in all three of these beautiful cities. And I've come to the conclusion that I think Phuket may be the best. To me, Phuket is just a tropical paradise and I feel very privileged to be here. I feel like I'm a chosen one being in this stunning, stunning uh, island. The beaches are just incredible. The air is clean here. We have good quality, clean air. If you ask me during pre-COVID days, I would not say the same thing, but, but right now, if you're one of the lucky ones that are gonna enter Thailand and have a crack, I would say come straight to Phuket. Pattaya, don't even ask me about Pattaya. Don't even include Pattaya in the list of cities to live in. People that choose to go and live in Pattaya do not realize Thailand is a very big country with beautiful places and Pattaya just does not cut it. There's no debate. Sparky coming through. All right, we're at a little store called Phuket Outdoor. I'm looking at one of these guys because uh, once we get out camping, I need to charge things like this camera. You can hook a solar panel up to these yeah, yeah. points, yep. All right, so you've got an LED display there. I believe this unit takes about five or six hours to charge up. Battery inside. We're gonna have to get this. We're hitting the road tomorrow or the next day, so. Um, All right, okay. can I transfer money to you? Transfer, you got a sale here at uh, Phuket Outdoor in Phuket Old Town. So we're gonna go back to the hotel now and we're gonna take you to the nice restaurant for dinner. We are at Dok Bua Vegetarian Experience. This is really good food here, really damn good food. favorite is vegan shrimp paste and come with vegan fish and fried tempeh <laughs> okay the next menu is southern core thing it come with mushroom it's really spicy it's gonna be full of her mm. smell really nice mm. Very unique song tum, the way they've uh, cut the vegetables there. Fresh vegetables and herbs there. Shredded mushroom, spicy as F sauce. We roll up the sticky rice. You gotta massage it with your hands. Get a little bit of this, bit of this. Whack some herbs into it. Oh man, oh man, you got no idea. Oh. Mm. I know you're probably familiar with the with the classics like green curry and pad thai and everything, but this is where it's at when you've got these herbs and unique flavors coming together. Wow. This is the way Isan people like to eat or northern people like to eat. I will show you. And then you're gonna get like quite raw thing and then when you eat you just put it with your food. You just two or three finger and use your thumbnail to pick the food with the sticky rice. You see? Three finger, time to eat. I'm really into these tempeh nuggets. Huh? They are the bomb. You get a little bit of this paste on top. God damn. Total price 570. I highly recommend this place. One of my favorites in Phuket. Super flavorful. My mouth is on fire from the spices. Where to now, Naja? We're gonna go walk around the market. 
Uh-huh. Find something for the camping. Oh yeah, okay. We here at Chilva Market. I like to come here because it has many stuff to see and it's a night market. Mm. So I will take you around today. Yeah, you, you can do like this. Yeah. This one like luxury style. Yeah. I think this is gonna be the one that I get. It's 150 baht. Okay, just spotted some grilled banana. Gloy Ping. Tita told me you couldn't get it at night time. She lied. It's here. <laughs> So you can take these stairs up to this platform up here and get an awesome view of the entire market. A really good spot to chill. We're going to have some grilled banana up here and just uh, chill out a little bit and enjoy the views. So you notice Tita's got a new dress on now, a different dress. We went into that stall down there and the one she wanted wasn't there. She tried that one on and pretty hard to say no, wasn't it? Look, looks so good. So I think the lady uh, selling the dress knew once she had Tita in the dress, that was it, it was sold. It's a good one, I like it. I like Bohemian style, so this is like perfect for me. Mm. It's been an awesome day. Thanks for joining us. You had fun? Yeah, I like it. Alright, next time you see us, we're going to be hitting the road, taking Sparky a few hours drive to a destination Tita has picked out. We will reveal that in the next video. It looks awesome. So stay tuned. See you in the next one. Say hello in the comments. Peace. I'm out.